Hello again, folks, and welcome back to Let's Play Alundra. I'm your Dungeon Master Darius. Last we left off, we had uh, a bad happened, ha bad happened, bad happening, in that Sybil, the gal that had dreamed as she walked, had been murdered. And uh, we have our suspicions, but for the now, we must see whether or not Maya is truly friend, or if she is foe, by going into her dreams. Which again, is a very much violation of a uh, people's whole private thing. I shall distract Myra long enough for you to enter Maya's chamber and enter her dream. Let's do this before I lose my nerve, Alundra. Good morning, Myra. What do you want? Maya's sleeping. Come back later. Actually, may I come to speak to you about Maya? Is there a place somewhere private we could go discuss this? What? You have something to say? Say to me now. I don't have time for your foolish games. No, not here. I promise it won't take long, Myra. I wouldn't ask you to speak privately unless it was truly of utmost importance. Please. Fine, fine. I'll go with you and, you, and hear your little secret. But what you, could you possibly know about Maya that I don't? I'm the one who's living with her, caring for he, her needs, not you. Okay, then. Which, by the way, we do get the power glove last episode as well. Allows heavy items to be lifted. So, uh, that might be important for this next dungeon? Yeah, this, this feels all sorts of wrong, but... <sighs> Who are you? You look like a nice person. Did you come here to play with me? I bet you did. What shall we play first, hmm? I know, tag. Okay, you're it. Can you catch me? Oh. This gotta be the most peaceful of dreams that we've been witness to in a long ass time. And I do mean a long time. I mean, what is it? Pretty much nightmares out the wazoo. Well, that was fast. I ain't complaining, I'm just saying. That was fast. I'm curious as to where there might be the, uh... Old-fashioned gilded falcon. Which, by the way, the previous dungeon, no Gilded Falcon. Don't worry about it. Hmm. Yeah, this is a nice, serene place. Music's really nice, too. Oh, hello. Collect this first. Hey, Gilded Falcon. We now officially don't have to worry about those. Uh, save point, though. That makes things mildly concerning. I'll save in the second slot, just so as I can be all like, Hey, I've already collected those. Everything else in the dungeon is just kind of a whatever. Man. I freaking love this game. I say this after an episode where a child was brutally murdered. But, yeah. Despite all his dark tones and whatnot. Ah, uh, okay. I see how this is gonna go. Puzzles out the wazoo and then... Oh, I see. <laughs> she is in fact hiding. And we are seeking. Let's see. Nah, I think we need to get over to her first as she's hiding before we even touch these doors. 
How do I get up to her then? Alright. Let's do a little bit of ye oldry uh back pedaling. We really need to get up there. Wait, is that as simple as I thought it as I think it is. Need to get up there. Which means we need to get back where we were. How do we get back to where we were? Ah. Oh, there's more doors. More doors than I initially thought that there were. I didn't just soft lock myself or something, did I? No, I didn't. Let's see. Yeah, this way. And he Okay. No, that's on me. Judging distance is never a strong suit of mine. We got this this time. This time we just need to remember to press the jump button. Whee! Look at that. Jump button pressed. Oh, that was a loud and alarming sound. That uh, was probably one of the doors. Question is, which one? This one. Hmm. That was easy. <laughs> mother, mother, I know father died in a terrible accident, but you think it was because he didn't believe in the gods? Nonsense, I say. Hmm. Well, that already makes plentiful amount of sense. About why she's, uh, as secretive as she is, maybe. Oh, uh, now I gotta find her again, don't I? This will be a seven... <laughs> seven puzzles. By the look of the amount of doors. And then seven games of hide and seek. Now, let's... Where's the... Where is she? <laughs> There. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Okay. Too bad I can't make this jump, huh? Gotta make things extremely simple. Also, if you hear any real noises in the background. No, you don't. Hello. I swear her kicks are... her uh, jumps are better than mine. Puzzle number D. Okay. Oh. Is a one-way trip her? Whoa. Ow. 
Ah, damn it, I couldn't jump that way. Okay, I get it. I was trying to jump from the middle platform directly onto the platform with the statue. Don't work like that. It. Yeah. No flashback this time. Okay. Now where is she? Got a feeling this one's gonna be the last one, and that one's gonna be the most pain in the ass. Calling it now. Dang it. Darn it. Hmm. Gonna need to start making a process of finding her. I. Mm. That was me. Always bad at jumping. Always be bad at jumping. Seriously, where the hell are you now? Hmm. That's where I just saw her. Well, she's like tucked behind a thing. God, imagine if that is the case. You hear? I just want to swap to the sword just so as searching for her if she's behind a thing is a lot easier. I say easier, I mean faster, really. Did I just hear? No. Oh boy. Somehow I got the feeling that the puzzles aren't gonna be the part that are gonna drive me nuts here. It's just trying to find Maya. I hate that jump. I'm not even sure why I'm bothering with it. Didn't see her in any of that. She's not around here. Uh, probably not right in the save point. That'd be weird. something oh maybe my eyes just just aren't as focused as they should be no No, I already found her over there, too. Did I not finish what I was doing in this chamber or something? I mean, the statue's gone, right? Wait, no. Where's the statue back? Don't mind me, I'm an idiot. Just need to do this. Like 
again. Okay, I had to step on the platform for the cutscene. Mother, Mother, it's fine that you still revere and worship the gods, but you have carried your belief too far. You strive to discover too much about the gods you worship. Your faith has transformed into an obsession. So a super zealot, if you will. Dang it. Please. Thank you. All right, now where is she? Can't be relic can't be too far, but I think I still need to traverse on this platform in order to get to wherever the hell she may be in the first place. So. There she was. She was Hoyden, of course. In the game of hide and seek, go figure. Ah, balls. Of course, it's a freaking light em up puzzle. How the deuce did that one even work? I'm gonna guess though that this is pretty much just bring the torch to the place to burn the things puzzle. So you know. Not really a puzzle in the puzzly puzzle sense of a puzzle word. Hmm. Getting caught on these seems like the silliest thing when you're in the water and a single pla and a single uh not platform layer layer yeah okay there we go I think this last one I need to somehow carefully jump from this platform back over here, but I'm not sure how that's going to work. No, it does work. Okay. I... Why did it do that? Why did my monkey brain do that? Alright, I'm going to do this one first, if only because its jump seems the most uh, heinous. Then I'll run up and do this one. Actually, no, that was the easiest of them. But I'm gonna do it last. It's quite literally throw over the ledge. Whereas this one I need to do a modicum of platforming. Don't know how that worked, but sure. I'm suddenly seeing how it is that I can get myself killed in this game, in this area. Nope, didn't need to go that way. Just up this way. Hit. There we go. 
Now the path is clear. God. Dang it. There we go. Freaking hell. You'd swear that they made the, uh... Oh. Took a bit to find the stairs. Mother, mother, I told you, I warned you. Everyone has secrets, even the gods themselves. And when you strive to expose those secrets, I ask you to be careful. I beg you, mother. Hmm. Not so much a situation of being framed as a heretic, so much as just... Just delving a little bit too much into the guy's businesses. Yeah. Nope, oh, nope. Come on. Okay. Ah, uh, now where the hell is she? Start at the start. Let's see if she's anywhere near. Here. Nope. So be mindful though that if oh there she is. That if you decide to play this, that when you get to this part, you need to step on the platforms, lest you be an idiot to not activate this next portion of hide and seek. Alright, I'm calling it now. The middle one is gonna be the last one. Middle one's gonna be the last one. Just gotta get to this one over here. By you jumping blindly to the trees. Okay. That's a jump up situation. Is it? Nope. Okay. I thought it was a timed jumping situation. But no, I think I just have to activate each of the buttons. I... Alright. Call shenanigans on that, but alright. It's one of those, oh, I'll move close to you, but... Yeah, look at that. It's like one space from the left most. Then two spaces from the right most. All this for barrel. Bad guy 101, always look under the bed. Mother, mother, they are searching. They're looking for me. Will they kill me too? Will they burn me at the stake for my blasphemy? I don't want to die, so I have no choice but to run fast and far. Goodbye, mother. Such a great game. Very happy game, ain't it? People dying left and right around you. And again, I think the very the first game 
that this is a spiritual successor to was pretty much just a game about treasure hunting. Uh, there you are. Mind you, it was still balls-ass difficult because of the is isometric view. But... I'm so glad they made this part at the least, traversing to get to the places relatively simple. Relatively. Says the man who suddenly can't get to where he was trying to go. It's fine. It's fine. I've only had to do this same jumping puzzle like 20 times while exploring this place. What's another 20 more? I did not have to do the jumping puzzle at 21st. Cool. Oh, it's the middle one. I thought it was going to be the one on the far right side there. Okay. Ah. So, there's a little bit of RNG in this one. Cool. I say a little bit of RNG simply because, like, it's also timing. I clearly have to hit the switches so as they stop in such a fashion that they end up being... stairs. That could almost work. Almost. Nope, way too early. Oh boy. Nope. Needs to be when they're roughly about midway through their thing here. But it needs to be the, from the other direction, where the top one is coming from the left. Yeah, like that. Let's see, so it would be... There. there. Ah, come on, I was so close. I think I'll do the right one first and then the left one. If only because it seems like it'd be simpler. Well, not simpler, but you know what I mean. Eh, oh... Yeah, there we go. The word we're looking for is champion balls. Okay. I don't know. I dude, what is wrong with my timing anymore? I swear I had it. I had timing. And then I just break that one. So only three of them need to stack as a thing of a bob. Ah, oh, so close. I'm gonna make this long one just so as I can get through this area. <laughs> Alright, so so far nailed that one. Not a word. I swear I had that one too. Ah, see, that one's just a perfect stare. Still way too early. What the shit is my timing? Damn it. 
And now it's spread, it's infected the other side too. Nope. God freaking. Uh, can I work with this? How do I work with this? I can't work with that. Heck. How much of this do you think is going to end up just being me getting this terribly wrong. Alright, so it's a little bit later than I thought it was going to be. Much later on that one. Okay, maybe I should do that one, because that one seems... I want no words. I want no words. No words at all. Yeah, that's got to have been the most annoying of them so far. Mother, mother, I found myself to possess the power to cure horror nightmares. And as I helped those afflicted with this curse, I learned the truth of our existence. We are not governed by a god, but rather a demon adorned in light to appear as a god. He alone is the cause of the terrible, deadly nightmares. At last, mother, I have beheld what you did, and it, it frightens me. I need to see if I can't make this into a D&D character. I don't know, like everything that I've witnessed in this goddamn game so far has made me go, I need to make this into a setting. And then I need to, I don't know, run it, I guess. Alright, where are you? Yes, where are you? Awesome. Terribly convenient, too. Yeah, these puzzles are definitely a lot simpler than I recollect, but they're also on the scale of... Uh, when it comes to annoyance. Okay, so I can jump there. I don't know if that's a cracked one, but I don't want to... Risk it. Okay, so I need the barrel here to make the jump so I can take this twatch. Now, are those as well cracked? Cracked? No. Falls down? Yes. Can I still make that? Please tell me I can still... I, I know I can't make that. Okay. Redo it. Ba, ba, ba. It's gotta be one of the most annoying things when they decide to put freaking breaking blocks into certain situations. What's that? You already feel a little bit stressed out because you're trying to make a jump? Well, here's some additional stress in the form of 
stuff that breaks. So I... When do I need to throw it then? Or can I throw it from... Maybe I'll be able to throw it from the height here. Like I throw... Actually wait, I can test it with the... If I can jump, I can test it with the barrel. No, I can't, because I need that barrel to get up there in the first place. Never mind. See, I would try to make that jump, but again, I can only jump like two squares. so glad that I never have to worry about money again at this point. At least I feel like I don't. Okay. To ensure that I can, I just... Yeah. Jump from the location. Alright, this could pause this can only get better for her, right? Mother, mother, I found him at last. The demon resides near this cursed village. He has paralyzed these poor folk with fear. The IRS cattle being led to the inevitable slaughter. Only, they only knew what I do, Mother. It is my duty to destroy him. I will not fail, Mother. I cannot fail. Seriously, mad kudos to Maya. Goddamn depressing as past, but only uses that to fuel her future. Well, by my account, there's only one more door. Oh. No more hide and seek. Just, just gonna go up to the door. I should, should I save? I don't remember there being a boss here. I'm not gonna save. Throwing cost into the wind. Okay, time for a new game. Spy the guy. Let's play. The, you know, you want to? Come on. Sure. Yay, we're going to play. Okay, I'm it. It's real easy. When I sing, I spy a QT guy, you move. Otherwise, you have to hide, okay? Okay. Let's play. All right, I remember now. Oh. Oh no, you got me. Thanks for playing with me. It was fun, but I have to go now. That was a lot easier than I remember it being. Well, at least she's peacefully sleeping through that. Totally not gonna get in trouble with the old lady. Oh. This is where you decide to- alright. Go away, boy. Septimus and I are having important matters to discuss. That is not for your freakish pointed ears to hear. Ma'am, I get the same pointed ears as- you know what's fine. Wondra, what did you learn? I see. Her 
past is even more twisted than I suspected. At least we now know she's not our enemy. You look drained, Alundra. Perhaps you should rest. Oh, how could I forget? Myra, I'm running late for my weekly pedicure. Perhaps we can continue our private conversation another time? Okay. After returning from Maya's dream, Alundra gained a new understanding of the pain she suppressed. Alundra is now convinced that Maya can be instrumental in the battle against the evil. As Alundra ponders how to get Maya to open up about her past, he falls into a deep sleep. That is immediately interrupted by a goddamn chicken. Well, rooster, but you know what I mean. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I gotta do a little bit more, more, eh, more this stuff. Good morning, Alundra. Well, Jess, that's the whole message. I'll see you later. Alundra, did you ever tell? Did I ever tell you about an old man named Nava? Didn't think so. He lives alone in on the hut in the coast of the southeast, southwest of here. Not exactly a people person. You know what I'm saying? Luda says he wants to see you. Oh, the old man at the docks? That's cool. I think I'll do that really quick. Say hey, hello, hi. Story purposes. Surely nothing terrible can happen when we go to his cabin, right? I also might just want to hear this music as an ending to the video because god damn I love this music. Were you also summoned by Nava Alondra? Hmm, I see. You should not worry, the man seems to have chosen you. I'm not going to give up my efforts, however. Okay, then. Hello? Did you hear that the immense boulder block of the Rawl River was broken and removed? I saw it. Hmm, it appears that my information network is in need, of, in need of an overhaul. The water mill wasn't able to operate solely because of that rock. Now that it has been removed, you can find your way to Nerud. The Giant Guardian. Nerud is the sole surviving member of the Giant Tribe, or rather, the Gazik, as they were known. Nerud's powers were claimed by Melsis and used in the service of evil rather than good. I believe that for that reason, Nerud will be eager to aid you in your quest. Slayers to the Northeast. Go there, young adventurer. Yeah. You hold in your hands one of the most curious things in the land. It's called the Spring Bean. With that little marble, you can grow amazing little plants that can catapult you to new heights. Even though he's God, Melzus must be destroyed for this world to survive. Remember that always, Alundra. Yeah. So we have two new to toys in our repertoire, the Power Glove and the Spring Bean. Seeds of the Mystic Tree. Planted properly, they grow. And they do mean that, by the way. If you just throw them anywhere, nothing. If you throw them on these little platforms, they make actual little springs out of beans. It's actually pretty hilarious, and I love it. But I'm going to go ahead and call an episode here, because when we return for the next episode, it is going to be a buttload of exploring and getting some... Not really optional items, but optional items. Yes. Thank you everyone so very much for watching. I hope you guys are enjoying this series as much as I'm loving playing it. And as always, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Take care. Cheers.